As the knives come out for Joe, one must ask, who is worse? The media and Democrats rushing to defend the guy or the media and Democrats rushing to condemn him? You can hold these two thoughts, that Biden has acted strange at times, and yet this is a calculated hit to get him out of the race by his own side. After all, it's not just about touching women, but being an old white man, which basically for the left makes you worse than a war criminal. But also, how can Biden's people not see this coming? The proof are like Biden's hands all over the place. As Nancy Pelosi puts it. He's an affectionate person to children, to senior citizens, to, to everyone. That's just the way he is. It's true. He touches more people than most chiropractors. Pelosi's advice? Uh, just pretend you have a cold and I have a cold. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for me to advice? The 2019 version of Don't Be Alone With That Guy. And now there are those complaining that Joe is being wrongly ac accused. Is this really where we want to go with Me Too? He's a nice guy. He's not a predator. And this is ridiculous. Let me just say it. This is ridiculous. You're eating those who can beat Trump. So I don't know that we will see any more smelling of hair and kisses well, on I'm the so, but, but and see, that, that, that pisses me off. Yeah. I'm telling you Which because, part? well, I don't want Joe to stop doing that. I don't either. You know? And hair does smell good. So sorry, Joe fans. Remember that this path forward is the one so many of you helped blaze. Even if Biden is guilty of just clumsy affection, the accusers must be heard and believed no matter how long ago it happened because Biden's own party demands it. Due process, if you remember, was sexist. They made that clear just months ago in a hearing over some guy named Brett. So it's no coincidence the complaints are coming forward now. When Biden wasn't in the way and no one cared, friendly, goofy Joe. Now the old sport's just hanging around, so he's got to go. Because when you're no longer wanted by those who want power for themselves, they'll be more than happy to put their arms around your shoulders, smile, and then walk you into traffic. <laughs> All right, Juan, I have a theory. This is my defense of Joe Biden. And I don't think anybody said this. But my theory is the guy has been through hell, lost his wife, lost a daughter in a very young car accident, lost his son. Could the affection that he shows be a vow to show appreciation to the living? Because you never know when they'll be there, if they'll be there tomorrow. That is my theory. Can I leap across the table and hug you? <laughs> <laughs> smell his hair. Yes, smell, smell his hair. My hair does not smell good. Does it smell good? Not after this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. We'll clean you up after the show. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know his psychology, but I can tell you, I mean, it, what you're hearing from Pelosi and others is true. He is in a, very much a touchy-feely, empathetic guy with guys and with women. I don't, but I, I mean, Senator Coons of Delaware, who's, you know, his successor in the Senate, said, you know, there was questions about how Joe had whispered into his 13-year-old daughter's ear. And he right. said, you know, the little girl said that Joe was telling her she's handling the moment well. He was trying to pump her up. And, but again... If you're a critic, and yesterday on the show, uh, there were people who were saying, you know, this is an oppo opposition dump on Joe's head from Democrats who are trying to get him out of, you know, kind of preempt yeah. him for, before he gets in the race. But my take, especially after listening to your monologue, is I think Republicans are still upset about Kavanaugh, are still upset about questions about President Trump, who said he was going to grab women in their privates, and think, well... According to the Wall Street Journal, oh, you have to make excuses and apologies for being a pale male these days. Again, so they'd say identity politics. I think this is so interesting to watch because this is going to go on all through the Democratic primaries. That President Trump's going to be tweeting, we're going to be talking, and you got all these Democrats up there throwing punches, haymakers at each other, and mm -hmm. this may be one of them, Greg. Yeah, you know, but Jesse, I will tell you, I don't think Republicans care that much about this. No, we're I, just delighting in it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I think. There <laughs> you because go. Because conservatives have been talking about these videos and retweeting them for yes. about 10 years, but we hear it's from Bernie, mm -hmm. this oppo dump, and to that I'd say, good job, Bernie. He learned how to play dirty from Hillary, because mm -hmm. he's not going to, you know, go down without a fight this time. But just some perspective here, he's a creepy guy that likes to nuzzle, but he's not Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. He crossed the line, he should apologize, that's fine, let's move on. But the media had a huge hand in this. Let's just remember, 
The media created political correctness to use as a weapon against conservatives to silence them and to bully them. And now the Democrats are using political correctness against each other mm. in a primary. And the media is sitting around exasperated and saying, hey, you're trying to take down the one guy that can win white working class voters away from Donald Trump. And the fact that conservatives have been joking about Biden for about 10 years, the media never covered it because the media, by trying to protect Joe Biden actually ends up hurting Joe Biden because if the media had covered this for the last 10 years, Biden could have addressed it. It could have been digested and we could have moved on. But they always try to cover Republican weaknesses and then cover up for Democrats. So the Democrat ends up getting out there and he's not in fighting shape mm -hmm. and he's rusty. And then he gets body slammed right before he announces. But the whole thing, my favorite part about this whole thing is Don Lemon's defense yes. of this. So <laughs> Don Lemon said this. And I just want everybody to remember this the next time I get in trouble. <laughs> Don't apologize. Nobody's perfect. Yes. So. I'm going to keep that one in my back pocket. The next time CNN's demanding a Republican <laughs> resign or apologize, we'll throw out the Don Lemon defense. That was very, well, that was an unintentionally hilarious uh, monologue from Don Lemon. Or maybe it was intentionally. I don't know. Dana, you see all, the peop all these people defending Joe. Should I do the what about, should I say, but what if it were uh, Republican? You saw no? Mika, Whoopi, Anna Navarro, all like, I mean. Well, I, that probably isn't a, yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. I just, I don't like what about ism. I just yeah. don't like it. Excuse um, me? Sorry. <laughs> leaves sorry. me without a lot to say. <laughs> well, you, you did plenty and you did very well. Thank you. In, um, Little the B block. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, but here's the thing. What? It obviously is a calculated attack from his side. They knew that he was waiting until April to announce. But the thing about Biden is, okay, if you're going to run against these characters, I'm not even talking about Donald Trump. If you're going to run in this primary, you got to be ready. Mm -hmm. He has no campaign apparatus to deal with this. This story has been going on for a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they don't have a way to really deal with it. He seems um, caught behind enemy lines. Mm -hmm. well. Wait, his <laughs> surrogates were the media. Well, he the never way actually that had anybody out there on his own side. The way that he's dealt with it is by having his spokesperson blame Republicans for the allegation that came out, even though it came from a Democratic woman right. who he inappropriately touched. And it's clearly an attack because she's saying, well, I'll still obviously vote for Joe Biden over Donald Trump if right. he wins the primary. Gross. And by the way, it wasn't a sexual assault or anything. It was just inappropriate touching. And I'm just letting everybody know about it. But the left put themselves into this corner, into this box. And the question now is whether they're going to play by their own rules. I agree with Greg. Joe Biden has done some weird stuff. You know, the thing now is everyone's coming out and saying, well, my experience with him is not that. Alyssa Milano was one of them. So you should believe me when I say he's a good guy who respects survivors of sexual assault. But that was not the case when it came to, to Brett Kavanaugh. And they smeared his family. And then when the truth came out about him, which was 100 plus pages of a Senate report showing not a single accusation against him had any evidence at all, and people were referred for criminal prosecution for lying and issuing false accusations to Senate investigators who were mm -hmm. looking into this, uh, the Michael Avenatti's making these claims, they ignored that report completely. So I don't know if anybody's going to care. I'm for what about -ism now? Yes, <laughs> especially when you remember Alyssa <laughs> Milano point. sitting in behind Kavanaugh, like right. the judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah, she's like, that oh, she's I know smirking. Him. So I can't, I, she's, she, ruin, she makes me want to root against Biden. Yeah. So this and is I, incredible to me. To, right. So this is about you, Jesse, or it's about Kavanaugh. It's always about It's me, not right? about, or it's about how Republicans are being unfairly no, charged but, with pushing this when it's actually Democrats pushing it. But it's not about Joe Biden, but I think it should be about Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Even Joe Biden, in the midst of Kavanaugh said, the accuser should be heard. Yeah. So he's got to live Brett with Kavanaugh that. Brett Kavanaugh said that as well. I, when I got sworn into the Broadcasting Board of Governors, I got a really nice hug from Joe Biden, and I remember it fondly. Mm -hmm. So there. Coming to Biden. How fondly, Dana. <laughs> Did he smell your hair? Yes. Don't think so? Your hair does smell no good, and I can smell, but I smell it from me here because I have a great sense of smell. I don't need to hug anybody. You can never Besides, when I hug people, now. the height ratio makes it really awkward. <laughs> I'm like, if I came up behind anybody, my my nose would be in their shoulder Wasn't blades. Wasn't there a, a, a Hollywood star who refused to hug somebody? And yes, it, it was uh, Seinfeld. Was it Seinfeld? And, and, yes. Yeah. Said no to that lady. The, yeah. the singer lady. So that's singer lady. Name. Is that where we're going? <laughs> What's her name? You yes. can't, you can't hug that. I have to ask for a hug, and he's like, no, I'm not going to I like hug. Pelosi's, you have a cold, because that's the old-fashioned way of dealing with things. I got a cold. That's how you and do nobody it. nobody wants a cold. Nobody wants a cold.